Sure. Are there any plans for another book, another follow-up publication? Yeah, the sky is the limit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so as long as I'm alive, I will try. Thank you, sir. Dr. Tirangia, Keith Chris, it will be in Sun newspaper. I just have a question. If the publication is meant to obviously influence future generations and tell the, the story in an authentic and truthful way, is there an effort from your side or whoever will represent you to then make this literature available to a younger generation so that we then actually start getting informed about what happened as opposed to having your comrades and other elders read and see if their names feature in their books or not. So will there then be an effort from your side to then get the literature available to younger people that really have to hear the story? Yeah. <clears throat> One thing that I don't owe any uh, institution that lectures people. But if there are institutions that will think that I will, in one way or another, contribute to that, I will do it. Uh, one thing I don't want to praise myself or try to be imposing myself on things, but whenever the doors are open, I'm a patriot, I will do it. So, but there are institutions in this country uh, there is a former, what do you call it, uh, Polytechnic, which is now a, a university. There is a university of uh, UNAM. There are other institutions. If they want us to do something, we can do it. I don't need to have to be paid for that. I can just give. And after all, you have to know that I have been lecturing also at the United Nations Institute for the Libya. So it's something which I'm not going to hallucinate. Thank you. Any other questions? None? Okay. Nkoro uh, from One Africa Television. I just wanted to point <coughs> out um, the main aim behind the book. Is it because you felt that the truth was limited, limitedly said or it wasn't said at all? Yeah, <clears throat> maybe both ways, in the sense that uh, what I know, what I have gone through, is not what you have gone through. It's not what Guriyap has gone through. It's not what Angola has gone through. All of us were victims that we have been, we have got a story to tell from our own backgrounds. That makes, at the end of the day, one uh, history of a country. I cannot, uh, for you, you are a young man, uh, I can uh, uh, you don't know what was happening. I was, for example, as a rare man, not allowed to go to the north. <coughs> At the time I was arrested Metro because I could not speak a Juambo. And clapped and uh, sent back because I wanted to go and do something. When I was a, a, a secretary for Windu Branch of Swapo in 1962. So I was not allowed to go there. I don't know what is happening there. My colleagues who are from that area, they know that area much, much more than I do. Therefore, they can write things that they have seen there. I can, I can write things that I've, that I've seen here. I grew up here in this town here. I know what was going here. Some people came to see this town when we came back from abroad. They don't know what was going what was happening here. But they can write better, that's it. And I cannot start writing something that I don't know. So therefore, all of us are, are useful in this. I'm writing it from my perspective. <coughs> so the other ones will be writing from their perspective, from what they have undergone. 
So uh, all of us have to put together. At the end of the day, we make one home, <coughs> the whole thing. And the children will def definitely benefit from that. Any other question? Can we? Okay, so we can proceed the program. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Now.